He's charged with stalking Sophie Monk and when he breached an AVO, he went to jail. A week later, Brian Rapley is out. When we caught up with him, he was still in his prison greens. Brian, Brian's back. The man accused of repeatedly stalking TV star Sophie Monk, Brian Anthony Rapley, enjoying freedom. What part of Leave Her Alone don't you understand, Brian? It was this time last week, Rapley was dragged from his ramshackle home in Western Sydney to Penrith Police Station. He was charged with breaching an apprehended violence order taken out by police on behalf of Monk when he showed up at her manager's Sydney office. Earlier this year on Anzac Day, Rapley showed up uninvited to Monk's sprawling home with a rose expecting a date. Monk wasn't home at the time, but her security vision capturing Rapley lurking in the shadows, trying her doors and windows, absolutely terrified the TV presenter. What happened with Sophie, mate? Are you a stalker? You tell me. It was only when Rapley was refused bail by a magistrate last week that Monk could feel any sense of safety. Today, after a week behind bars, Rapley fronted a new magistrate, yet copped a similar spray for pursuing Monk. Magistrate Paul Moroni said, I'm yet to get a clear understanding why on earth you made the approach. This is not rational behaviour. The magistrate said he could only rationalise Rapley's behaviour if he was suffering from mental health issues, substance abuse or an intellectual disability. But the only excuse Rapley could offer was that he hadn't had a good night's sleep here at home for some time. The court again heard Rapley was a supposed victim of an online monk impersonation. But for the second time in two weeks, two different magistrates rejected that excuse. Rapley even went as far as dragging his daughter into his catfishing claims. He said the impersonator was also sending notes to his daughter. They put your, put your daughter and your mother in, her, in Sophie's shoes. Rapley was supported in court by his daughter and mother who ferried everyone home. But his daughter wasn't willing to expand on the catfishing claims or her dad's behaviour. Magistrate Mulroney granted Rapley a 12-month community corrections order, keeping the AVO in place. Your behaviour is bizarre. Why on earth a well-known entertainer would engage with you is just illogical. People in that line of work get all sorts of nutjobs. It can be frightening for them. Back at Rapley's home, his neighbour had ring-fenced his shack. So let's hope he listens to the magistrate this time, right? Let's hope so. What part of Leave Her Alone don't you understand? 